Hey everybody, welcome to Pearls of Eden and thank you for joining me today. I have a quick message. Have you honored the King today? You know, we have an opportunity every day to bless the Lord, the King of Kings, right? Have you done it today? And you might be saying, bless the Lord? Is that even possible? Yes. When you give thanksgiving, when you are thankful for all that he has done and you remember the days of old and how far he brought you and you take time to look back on all of the victories, you are blessing the Lord when you open up your mouth and you give him thanksgiving and you worship him. You say, thank you, God. I remember there was a time when I didn't think that I was going to make it and you opened up this door. Thank you for what you're doing in my husband's life. Thank you for what you're doing in my children's life. Thank you for your faithfulness. When you begin to declare what the Lord has done for you, the enemy can't stand it. He doesn't want to be around worshipers. You want to fill your house with the glory of the Lord? Put on praise music. Worship the Lord with your whole heart. He doesn't want to be around there. That's a house on fire for God. And he doesn't want any part of that, right? He's afraid of the worship of true worshipers because it is a weapon that dismantles all of his junk, right? And so I'm here to remind you not only of the power of your praise, but that how important it is that we acknowledge the Father who has done so much for us. Everybody has something to be thankful for. We all can say, I'm so thankful that God sent his son, his only begotten son. He died on the cross. He suffered for us so that we might have life. He endured the pain for a moment in order for us to have life evermore. Glory to God. And so that's why I say we have to at least give our thanksgiving. But, you know, sometimes people don't want to even suffer a little bit. They don't want to put away any kind of time, anything that's inconvenient. But the Lord was there to, to take on all of that pain. It was joy for him to see what will be coming. The salvation for us, he endured the cross. And so, you know, let's give God praise for that, right? So you have to look. I don't know what all God has brought you through, but I know he's brought you through some mighty things. Don't forget. And when the Lord led me to Habakkuk 3, it was a powerful reminder because the prophet was saying, remember all the things that God has done for you. You remember the Red Sea where we thought it was impossible for us to cross and he made a path. He opened it up and made dry land so that we could walk. We all have Red Sea moments. Acknowledge him. Remember the victories because his train is full of them. Hallelujah. So we will bless the Lord. And as we bless the Lord, guess what? He makes our feet like hinds feet, like of deer. And deer are able to trek the heights. And he makes it possible for us to climb the heights. He makes our crooked paths straight when we honor the King. So this is a time that we have to be more intent, like I've said, ever than ever before, to get before the Father, to seek his face, and to honor him. He is worthy, hallelujah. He is worthy to be praised. So that is all that I have for you today, this wonderful Tuesday. May the Lord bless you. May he keep you, may his face shine upon you. I know that you're growing in the knowledge of God. I know that. And I pray that you continue to thirst, continue to hunger for his righteousness. It is in his presence that we are transformed. In the glory, right? In the glory. Stay in the glory, brothers and sisters. I will talk to you soon.